the next thing we're going to be discussing is we are going to be talking about spills, spill control, and safety with spills. Spills happen. We understand that spills are just one of those things that can occur when we're dealing with liquids and students who are overzealous. We do, however, re request and require our students to minimize spills by not horse playing around, by carrying uh, plates and tubes with just a, uh, a rack rather than uh, simply walking around freehand like so. And we also understand that in some cases these things happen. So we also wish to inform you on how to clean up a spill. First things first, a small spill, which is any spill that is from really any amount up to around 9 mils. That is a small spill, which we are going to use show this. This is a test tube with a small amount of water in it. This would be considered a small spill. Now, what makes a small spill easier to clean up is that it, it's not that big. So I've just made a spill. This is on the larger end of a small spill. And the first thing we want to do is we want to take our back down and bleach. This is our back down bottle. And we're going to create a barrier. Just this better. There we go. Create a barrier around the spill so that spill in here does not go to the outside. We're then going to take fresh bleach, 10% fresh bleach solution, and do the same. Then flood the area with both bleach and back down. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some paper towels and simply lay the paper towels across the spill. We are then going to let this sit for 10 minutes. Now, after 10 minutes, as you can see, we've soaked up all the contaminant. Pull it all together. And this goes in the biohazard bin. And we're going to finish cleaning up some back down and some bleach. Now, what about a large spill? Large spills require much more intense uh, mitigation. A large spill is defined as anything more than 10 milliliters. Now, in here, I estimate I probably have around 11 or 12 milliliters. This is water, by the way. It's mostly as a demo. Look at how much more liquid there is. In this case, you call over your TA and you contact EHS. EHS is 5555. Your TA will clean up the spill using the same type, starting off with a barricade, a back down and bleach, and mixing the two, and then laying down the paper towels. The difference in this case is that while your TA cleans it up, you also need to contact Environmental Health and Safety at 5555. You also need to contact me at 4073. And then uh, incident reports will need to be figured out, uh, filed with EHNS and CP, and uh, more paperwork will need to be done. But the cleaning up process is the same.